What's up guys? I am in Kiev, Ukraine. I am in my hometown and it honestly feels so good to be back. Like I can't even really describe the feeling. I guess, you know, if you're from another country, you would know that, you know, every time you come home, even if it's been quite a while, it just kind of is this nostalgic and comforting sort of feeling to be back and to hear the language to eat the food to be with your family it's just such a good feeling and since it's been three years since I was last here like I feel like it's very long overdue right now I'm just downtown here I'm in the main square Maidan um, this is pretty much like where all kinds of festivals take place and uh, pretty much any kind of like international or political figures come to perform I'm kind of like um, in the main center where Independence Square is right behind me here, the big tower, and the large street just behind me is called Krishatik. So if you pretty much like go down it, it has kind of all the main grand buildings. So I'll be taking you guys on a tour of that later on. On this other side of me is Marinsky Park, which is this gorgeous park. Um, that goes all the way up north so hopefully we'll get to that as well so yeah I'm so excited to show you guys the city I think it's gonna be so much fun and just for myself to kind of you know go exploring seeing everything anew will be amazing so yeah I'm so excited to show you guys Kiev so here we are guys we are in my favorite place in all of Kiev which is Andreevsky Spusk and it is an absolutely amazing uh, district where lots of artisans and artists sell their work the uh, chapel that it's named after I will show later in this video but yeah it's pretty much just this gorgeous slope that goes down to the Dnieper to the water and it's like a kilometer of amazing souvenirs and the work here is just absolutely incredible and going for such a great price. So if you guys are ever in Kiev, definitely make sure you check out Andreevsky Spusk. Alright guys, so I had a little snack of potato pancakes and beer. Definitely a hearty meal. First, I should mention, everyone always asks me, you know, like you were born in Ukraine though. My parents were both born in Russia, but you know, all Soviet Union at the time you could say, why don't you speak Ukrainian? Well, <laughs> I was born in uh, 1991, so that was a year after the Soviet Union broke up. So pretty much anyone older than me definitely, you know, speaks Russian because that was, you know, the language at the time. So um, yeah, that's why I speak uh, Russian instead of Ukrainian. Technically, of course, I would like to learn Ukrainian uh, since uh, the country is definitely like turning over to be mainly Ukrainian speaking. But for the time being, Russian is basically what I know. We are almost at the Dnieper, guys, and just in this underpass here. And uh, yeah, if you are uh, coming down to the water, there are so many amazing things to see and do here here especially in the summer you can take these like amazing boat cruises and uh, I guess you call it like a party boat or something like that uh, it's kind of like a little disco or something on the top of the boat and you can get like dollar beers you know all that kind of stuff so that's lots of fun and then kind of across the Dnieper there's this area called Gitra Park which is kind of like this amusement place so there's lots to do there as well. So here we are kind of on the main boardwalk of the Dnieper. As you can kind of see behind me, there are some gorgeous beaches. So if you're coming here in the summer, definitely a great place to kind of go relax and have a tan. Um, there's some more boats here. I don't think these are the party boats, but um, kind of the ones where you can do the cruises or dinner cruises. So uh, those are really nice, and probably only about like $5 or so for the hour, so also a really great thing to do.
So yeah, this area is called the Padol and it is uh, one of the oldest areas of Kiev, I guess. Um, the city center kind of started from up here and built down to the Dnieper and then further on um, west, I think it is, to like where Maidanya Suljevnesti is and like Vyshatik and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's just a beautiful historic area of Kiev. So here we are at Mihailovsky Sabor. It's this absolutely incredibly beautiful church right behind me. Um, Ukraine's really known for making like the most exquisite churches and I mean it's one thing to see how incredibly beautiful they are on the outside but if you go in it's like freaking Versailles inside so um, yeah religion obviously means a lot here and uh, yeah if you get a chance definitely go check out like the main churches like Mikhailovsky Sabor, Sepiski Sabor which is right behind me that I will probably video uh, tomorrow and uh, the other one I would really recommend is Vladimirsky Sabor. That's like a little bit um, further, I guess, downtown. So those are the three that I would recommend. Thing that I really want people to actually get out of this video is the fact that they should come to Ukraine because like I don't understand how people take these like Euro trips and you know they go to France they go to London you know all these uh, different more Western European destinations and they spend like thousands upon thousands of dollars and it's like I totally understand that yes Paris London all these places are so worth going to but it's like is it really worth you know for a couple of weeks like three or four thousand dollars if you came to Ukraine and spent that kind of money like honestly you would stretch that money so far you could stay in like five-star accommodations you know go to the fanciest restaurants take all the excursions have taxis like drive you around for Pete's sake like it's absolutely crazy just how much more you can get for your money here which is why like I don't understand why more people don't come here and I guess maybe people get scared off by the political situation or whatnot but honestly like the fact that you know the um, Maidan situation isn't really happening anymore like as far as Kiev or Lvov or like Odessa like any of the main cities go like it's not at all an issue to um, go to those places it's very safe as safe as like any European destination so yeah if anybody's kind of wondering about like coming here is it safe is it easy to get around I would honestly highly recommend it especially Kiev like pretty much in all the main like touristic places there's signs in English that will help you get around the people are really nice usually like the younger people will all know English since they learn it in school so yeah honestly I'm just confused <laughs> why more people don't come to Ukraine because it's such an amazing and beautiful and historically rich country and you can get so much for your money so definitely worth coming to